Hello everyone! In this video we will try to open the secrets of our new field in the cost calculator builder, the element validated forms. It ensures that every number, email, URL or name entered is in the right format and helps you get accurate user data. Let's learn how to use it with a real-life example, the contest registration form calculator. Simply drag and drop to add a form validation to the calculator. On the right side, you get a sidebar with the settings of the element. To the name, indicate an appropriate name for the field and provide a placeholder. The description field can be used to give instructions on filling this field accurately. When it comes to forum types, we have four of them in our element for now. Let's see each of them one by one. Email. In this tab, users should enter their emails only in standard email address format. Otherwise, the system will give them an error. Name. In this option, you will get a compact text area that can be used to receive the names of your users. Phone number. In this type of form validation, only phone numbers can be entered in the right format depending on the country. Initially, once the page is loaded, the country code will be automatically selected according to your location. Later, you can change it without difficulties. Last but not least, the website URL option gives you the availability to get the URLs in the correct format. Like other types, users will get an error if they do not provide their response in the right format. By incorporating these simple yet effective methods, they increase the accuracy of information provided by users. There is an availability to set a default value to the fields as well. In the next step, there are three settings. One will be used to hide this field by default, so later you can make it visible again using the conditional system. The next one makes the field to require it, which means users cannot submit the form without filling in this field. There is also an availability to show or hide this field in grand total. Now let's go back to our calculator, I will try to explain its logic. Initially, the user needs to choose how he will participate in this competition using the radio buttons. If he is in a team, he needs to indicate the team name and upload the team logo. Using the image dropdown field, the project direction in the tech award should be specified. User needs to enter the project name to this text field. Our job is to take participants info like his name, contact email to send news and notifications about a competition, and optionally phone number and a website. So it's a perfect time to use the help of the forum validation and repeater fields. In this case, users will be able to add several participant info in this calculator. So drag and drop the repeater element and give the name and repeat limit to it. Next, put a validation forum that we have created for the name to the repeater. Then add another validation forum and indicate email as a type. Also, do not forget to make it required. Repeat the same process to add the phone number and website URL, but these two fields will be optional, so no need to make them required. Let's save the calculator and check the result. I think it looks amazing. That was the end of our video. If you enjoyed the new field and this tutorial, support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching.